I think of wild fish as the way the ocean makes love to the land. And I mean that ecologically, that the ocean delivers nutrients back into the watershed via salmon. Scientists have found wild salmon DNA in fir trees. Countless mammals, insects, and other fish depend on them as a food source. It's not just about hatchery fish or farmed fish. It's about the whole ecosystem that depends on them. My granddad taught us you had to respect the fish and you had to respect the deer and the elk and the birds. You know, you had to leave them a place to live. We were taught that spawning beds were sacred. If you don't have wild fish, you won't have a future fish in these streams. You know, they're just not going to be there. We're at a crossroads right now. We've inherited bad management practices that have driven our fish populations to the brink. Our reliance in Oregon's insistence on using hatcheries in these rivers goes back 100 years, and it's an incredibly difficult habit to break. Farm fish support an entire industry, but unfortunately, they're at odds with wild fish. Farmed fish are really a false promise in our system. We take the fish out of the river, we bring them into a cold concrete building. They're artificially fertilized. The weak ones are allowed to survive. And then we just haphazardly throw them in whichever river we think needs more fish. They're not exposed to the same natural pressures as wild fish are. So as a result, deficient fish survive to become adults. The science on this is of the slam dunk variety. The offspring of hatchery fish are less fit than the offspring of wild fish. When the farmed are pushed into the system, there's a very persistent decline and sometimes a catastrophic decline in the wild fish population. They predate on the wild fish, they transmit diseases, they occupy habitat that should otherwise be occupied by wild fish, they attract a whole bunch of predators. We've seen it happen in Puget Sound where every single river that dumps into the sound is now closed for fishing because they aren't there anymore. That's what 50, 60 years of industrial hatchery practices will do to a river. The wild fish right now don't have a state regulating body on their side, whereas the hatchery fish do. Simply put, neither ODFW nor the National Marine Fisheries Service is taking seriously their obligation to protect fish. It's finally time to get their attention and to make them comply with their obligation to put the wild fish in these systems first before any other considerations. Best chance I think that we have right now of, of winning this argument is on the Sandy. Over the past 10 years, almost $100 million has been spent on wild fish recovery in the Sandy River. We've spent all this money on habitat and dam removal, but until we actually address the hatchery issue, these fish aren't going to recover. Yet the state of Oregon's shown that they have no interest in removing the hatcheries. We've tried everything. We've tried working with the agencies, we've tried working with the private parties, and at this point the fish are sending us a very strong signal that nothing's working. So our last resort is to go to the courts. This is our moment. When we win this fight, we are gonna see a domino effect of other victories across salmon country. I believe fundamentally we're stewards of the planet, and stewards means leaving it better than you found it. That's the whole purpose of the Endangered Species Act, is not just to keep the status quo, keep a few hundred wild fish around, but it's to restore those wild fish, not only in the Sandy, but everywhere, to populations in the wild that can sustain themselves so you can take them off the endangered species list. We're gonna recover native fish in a big urban environment. I think that's a spectacular idea. These systems are remarkably resilient and the wild fish populations, because they're simply better fish genetically than their hatchery counterparts, are going to repopulate systems when the pressure from hatchery fish are taken away. The Upper Clackamas, for example, is a place where we have seen wild fish recover quickly once hatchery fish were removed. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Mother Nature will do it. You just give her a chance. These fish came into these rivers on their own, and if you let them come out of the gravel naturally, generation after generation, you're gonna get fish back here that are built for these systems. But it's gonna take time. You know, you wanna look down the road, maybe what we're doing right now, there'll be plenty of fish for everybody. Anybody who fishes for salmon or steelhead has a responsibility, I believe, right now, to stand up and make their voice heard.
I'm a river steward because I believe that home waters require vigilance.